We're joined by Andrew Goodwin, the club's senior economic advisor. Andrew, thank you so much for coming in. So if we just take a look at some of the recent uh, economic data we've had from the UK, it's been fairly positive, hasn't it? Because you had retail sales figures in June rising more than predicted, sterling approaching its highest level against a dollar in two months, and the GDP figures showing the fastest growth in, in four years. What does all this tell us? Uh, well, I think certainly the, the recent figures have been encouraging, um, but I caution against uh, reading too much into Friday's figures, certainly. Mm. Uh, the preliminary estimate of GDP is notoriously unreliable as, as a guide of, of the final estimate. Uh, and I think certainly when you look at the breakdown as well, that there are certain causes of concern there, in particular the, uh, the strength of the construction data, which isn't really borne out in, in some of the surveys. So I, I think we'd probably expect that to be revised downwards as, as the more data comes in over the next couple of quarters. So this doesn't necessarily mean that Britain has returned to sustained growth? I, I think it's certainly uh, a, a sort of step in the right direction and a step towards recovery. But um, I think certainly it would be unrealistic to expect this sort of pace of growth to continue over the next couple of quarters as well. So what can we expect to see in the UK in the next few months in terms of jobs, consumer demand, inflation? Well, I think certainly sort of dealing with those in turn, I think certainly inflation, we, we would expect inflation to be above target for the rest of this year and into next year. Um, but that's mainly due to temporary factors such as the VAT increase uh, and also petrol prices being so high. Uh, in terms of jobs and consumer demand, I think things are going to pick up slightly, in a sort of slightly more measured and, and slower sort of uh, trend. Uh, we would expect the, the recovery to be pretty slow and patchy, certainly over the next two years. Uh, and I think it'll be a bit longer before things start to pick up. I mean, you're, you're predicting 3% growth by 2013, so 3% growth in about three years' time, slow but gradually gaining momentum? That's right. We're looking for something closer to 1% for this year and probably 2% for next year. Uh, I think certainly the VAT uh, rise for next year will, will dampen demand in the first half of the year, uh, and the cuts coming in as well will, will take some time to get through. But I think further out, the economy will get used to the, the, the new, more austere environment and will be able to pick up uh, at a much faster pace thereafter. And what about the prospects of a double dip? Could the UK now completely avoid this scenario? Um, certainly our central forecast is that we do avoid a double dip. Um, we, we acknowledge its risk there. There are quite a few downside risks to the outlook uh, that have really sort of come to pass over the last couple of months. But our central forecast is that interest rates will remain low and that will help stimulate the recovery both in consumer demand eventually but also in terms of business investment as well. Uh, you mentioned the uh, austerity measures that are currently being implemented by the government, of course, government cutbacks. So do you think that the economy can handle this, that it would prevent the economy from returning to recession? Uh, well, I think what the, the benefits that you get from these sort of cutbacks in government spending is lower government borrowing, and that should also mean lower long-term interest rates. And that sort of environment should help to offset the, the drag that we get from lower government spending in the short term. But as you say, growth is slow and unemployment is still high. It is in, in, in the very near term. I think we'll see what, what is a much slower recovery than maybe we've become accustomed to after previous recessions. Um, but I think after a sort of couple of years of, uh, of fairly slow, fairly patchy growth, uh, the, the economy should get back onto an even keel again after that. Andrew Goodwin, economist at Ernst Young Item Club. Thanks so much for your thoughts. Appreciate it.